2012 has started, guys, and I've not even done a review yet. We talked about the state of the music industry. We talked about the state of the album review community. And now it's time for us to finally get down into what 2012 is all about. And that's the motherfucking music. And we have a great one to start it off. We have a great album to start this one off. And that's going to be Resolution by Lamb of God. Now a couple years ago, Lamb of God released an album entitled Rap. And whenever that came out, I will admit, I wasn't a big fan of it. This is a band that I'd followed ever since their inception. Right before, or should I say right after, uh, they transitioned from Burn the Priest and the Lamb of God, I became a fan of this band. I discovered this band. Well, I didn't discover them. I wasn't you know, the first guy, but I discovered them personally in my own taste, in my own catalog, and quickly thought that they were something special. And they proved that. They have been a band that has consistently over the past decade has been in the forefront of the heavy metal department. And Resolution is an album that this band desperately needed to be good, in my opinion at least, because I think and I felt that Wraith didn't just, uh, just didn't really size up to what they had done previously in their catalog. Albums such as Sacrament, As the Palaces Burn, New American Gospel, great releases. Releases that are quintessential to a 2000s era metalhead catalog merely because of the evolution from metalcore to the hints of groove metal to just being flat out heavy as fuck. But then Resolution hits, and you realize that most of the stuff that they did prior to all of this ain't fucking shit. You remember about a month ago, I reviewed a single of theirs entitled Ghost Walking, and I said that it seemed really bland. Ghost Walking is probably one of the weakest tracks on the album. Remember whenever I reviewed... You know, uh, The View by Metallica and Lou Reed, and I said, I pray to God this is the weakest song on the album. Yeah, it's that scenario, where instead of, you know, The View, which was this one of the strongest songs off of Lou Lou by Metallica and Lou Reed, Ghost Walking truly is one of the weakest songs off of Resolution, and I'll tell you why, it's because this album doesn't give a fucking goddamn what you think. It's just gonna thrash your groove your fucking neck off. These guys sound revitalized. I don't know what happened ever since the release of their last album. I don't know if they just went through some sort of systemic, like, brain realization? Was there some sort of fucking aha moment? Some eureka bastard showed up and was just like, duh, 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 you gotta do this. You can't do what you're just doing because it's not what you need to be doing. You need to be doing this. And they do resolution and then here you go. This is an album that is full of hooks. It's full of hooks. And they're heavy as hell. I've not heard this band this heavy since New American Gospel. I've not heard the band this heavy since the stuff from Burn the Priest. And you know what? Here's the funny part about that. That was the intention. The intention was to actually retain those old school elements, those old school moments from the earliest points of their career. That raw intensity, that just in your face, in your balls, kicking you right in the teeth attitude is what they wanted to do with Resolution. As if to say, here in 2012, we resolved to be the heaviest, most over the top, motherfucking heavy metal band on the planet. And they did that. They've made 2012 already a lofty, lofty goal for bands in this genre to attempt to go and ascend their mountain. The mountain that they themselves have built with hands, with metal, with guitars, with drums, with bass, and with sonic appreciation. This is an album that you want to start off 2012 because it's a strong release that gets you out of the gate very quickly and very much on the right foot. And that's something that I was unable to say about their previous record. It was something I was only to somewhat say for Sacrament. Something where I could say it in droves. Where I could say it in moments. But could not maybe potentially say it about the whole. I don't know why I just made an album into a circle. Maybe that's because it's what a CD looks like. This might not even really be a circle. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter? Because this album is what matters right now in this video. It's only January the 4th, or 3rd. It's in January. We're in January. The year just started like 72 hours ago. But this is a great release. This is one that is prone and primed to actually make a huge impact. I don't know what I just knocked over, and I don't really give a shit right now. This album is just like what I just did. It's utter destruction. It's utter chaos. You can't just sit still. You can't sit still or stand still whenever you listen to this record. You're fucking static and kinetic and doing all this other fucking shit. You just want to walk up to somebody and punch them right in the face. You just want to be in a mosh pit. You just want to be in a circle pit. You want to be in a wall of death that you experience in a Lamb of God concert. And you want to replicate that experience each and every time you listen to each and every song off of this record. 
Ghost Walking being one of the weaker singles on this album, well, that's actually a good thing, because that means the rest of this release is going to be a cornerstone to what 2012 is going to be all about. All I have to say is that later on in January, whenever Resolution comes to stores, each and every one of you should be out there picking this up. I don't care about your feelings on Lamb of God. Completely turn those feelings aside. Become absent to all of those former inhibitions that you had about this band. Be absent to that. Because this is a band that has really dialed back the clock. They've turned back the clock and dialed it up a notch. And they've really transformed themselves into the band that they once were once again. And that is something that with a little bit of an aid of a sonic boom, with a little bit of an aid of production talent, and with a little bit of aid of age and knowing and understanding what it takes to craft one hell of a record, cause them to craft one hell of a record. I give this a strong 8.5. Really recommend this release. I have not enjoyed Lamb of God this much in years. And that's saying something. I have not enjoyed Lamb of God this much probably since 2004, maybe even earlier. Bravo to the guys. 2012 just started off on one hell of a high note. Hi, how you doing? I'm Cover Killer Nation. Buy this record.